sentry may hear us and... What do I care? Tomorrow I die anyway. Tomorrow you die? That's what she said. Huh? Oh, you mean that witch? (laughs) Oh, well, well, you you certainly don't believe her, Your Majesty. Why, why she is nothing... Aye, tomorrow I die, Abner. Tomorrow Satan will exercise his power of death. The power I permitted him over me through my obedience to his will instead of the will of God. Maybe she was wrong. After no, all, she... no, she was right. I forsook God. I sinned. Tomorrow I pay the penalty of sin and disobedience. Tomorrow there comes an end to a life that could have been filled with great success. But... Of your majesty, all is not yet lost. For me it is. It was lost the day I let wrong conquer right within my heart. But we have a battle to fight, your majesty. The men are ready and waiting, waiting for your command to march into the fray. And for their sake, cheer up. Yes, for their sake, I must cheer up. Yes, for the sake of my men, I must put on a false front. Something I am good at, for I have had much experience... Yes, much experience at many false things. I have lived falsehoods, believed lies, told lies, believed evil of everyone, done evil, been greedy of power, said many things. Your Majesty, the men await your command to march. All right, Abner, all right. Men of Israel, today we face a mighty force of Philistine soldiers. Equip yourselves like men. Men of Israel, men of God, show them by your conduct, by your valor and fierce fighting that that Israel is a nation of the living God of... Be brave, be valiant, and... All right, General, give the word forward to the battle. Yes, Your Majesty. The battle rages. Saul's army is losing. Israelite men are falling everywhere, mortally wounded, dying. How are we doing, General? We are losing, Your Majesty. Are you keeping something from me? Well, uh, your, your Majesty, it, it grieves me to have to tell you, but the well, news just reached me that your son Jonathan, leading the left flank... He was has... killed? Yes, Your Majesty. He died gloriously, bravely. My son Jonathan dead because I... because of me. Uh, Now, about my other two sons, Abinadab and Melchizedek. They died too, sir. Gloriously, bravely. Oh, now, now it is my turn. Your Majesty, shall I go to the left flank and take command of Prince Jonathan's regiment? Yes, yes, do, General. By all means, do. Long live the king. How foolish I have been. Would that I could live over all the... But I can. It's too late for that. Armor bearer. Yes, Your Majesty. Come close to my side. We ride into the thick of the battle. <gasps> your Majesty. Oh, oh, oh. I've been, I've been hit. Run through by an arrow. Oh, oh. Pull it out. No, no, Majesty, I, I can't. You, you would bleed to death. <laughs> then draw your sword and run me through. Put me out of my misery. Kill my king? No, no, Your Majesty. That is a command. Run me through, lest the uncircumcised Philistines come and torture and abuse me. No, Your Majesty. You refuse to obey me? In this instance, yes, Your Majesty. I cannot kill my Uh, king. Then I shall kill myself. Like this, Your Majesty. Uh, You you fell on your sword. Oh, he is dead. I will be blamed. I'll kill myself in honor. Like my king, I shall fall upon my own sword. (laughs) The battle ended. Saul died, and his three sons with him, and all his men that same day together. And it came to pass on the morrow in the camp of the Philistines that their king said unto the captains, Men of Philistia! You fought a good battle. The Israelites are defeated. 
They have fled their cities, and we are the victors. Do the prizes of war. So take your men and get you to the scene of the battle, and look what there is of value, and take it and bring it to me. Yeah, so look at this. A jeweled bracelet. It must have belonged to his wife or sweetheart. Well, it belongs to me now. <laughs> Sergeant, come here a minute. This is the real booty of war. Will my king be surprised when I bring him this? You called, sir? Yeah, but you see this dead soldier. Do you know who he is? He's an awfully tall and big man, whoever he is. Is is he King Saul? Uh, he is King Saul. Uh, oh, I mean, uh, he was King Saul. Right now, uh, he becomes the means whereby I can gain the favor of our king. Here, here, help me put him on my horse. I shall take him and present him to the king. <laughs> <laughs> so he killed himself, fell upon his own sword. Fit ending for such a cruel and selfish king as he was. Captain, cut off his head. Yes, Your Majesty. And strip the armor off his body. By the way, Captain, weren't there any bracelets or other valuable jewels on him? Uh, Wasn't there a crown on his head? Oh, no, Your Majesty. I brought him to you just as I found him. Well, someone must have gotten to him before you did and has stolen them. Yeah, obviously, Your Majesty. Captain, I'm going to give you the honor of properly disposing of King Saul's head, body, and armor. Oh, thank you, Your Majesty. The head, I... Uh, I want you to send it on a platter to all parts of Philistia to display and thus publish our victory over Israel. It shall be done, Your Majesty, with much pomp and ceremony. Ah, that is exactly what I want. And the body, fasten it to the wall of Bethshan for all to see and spit upon. Mm, yes, Your Majesty. And give the armor to the priests for display in the shrine of our god, Astroth. It's with honor and pleasure that I carry out my king's wishes, eh? I should very much like to see the faces of some of the Israelites uh, when they witness the inglorious end of their evil king. <laughs>